Welcome back. It's National School Counselor Week, and after children witness school tragedies and transition back into the classroom, this week helps them talk about it. Take a look. Life has taken a toll on many Americans in the last 20 months, but even more so for children, impacting their mental health. Sometimes it's just talking about the language of what stress or anxiety looks like. In the midst of National School Counseling Week, Jane Long counselor Philip Madkins is creating a safe space for their children's thoughts. National School Counseling Week is a five-day week that puts a spotlight on school counselors' impact to districts. While mental health impacts all, it's been a stigma in the African-American community. He works to create a safe space to change this for black children. If I feel sadness for a short period of time, that may be one thing. If I'm experiencing student sadness, um, are we connecting that to trauma in life? It's just having those conversations and opening the door on a regular basis and then being able to see that representation. And those of color. That's something that definitely has to always be thought about um, and making sure that every group can feel that they have a place to go. A CDC report showed that suicide rates went up significantly among black youth. He thanks BISD for allowing the space for representation to make kids feel safe coming to school, trying to understand the world around them and what's happening. In the sense that how they view the counselor role and support supporting that role um, in terms of ratio of counselors, making sure there's enough counselors to meet the need. After seeing tragedies like Uvalde, they're focusing on helping kids talk about it and anything that bothers them as they work to improve the mental toll the pandemic and trauma has had on children. And Hatch also reminds parents that they can also come to them if they need guidance on how to talk about a difficult topic with their child. 